In this video, I will be showing you how to install a basic bidet. This specific bidet is sold by Greatic, but I have installed quite a few bidets and they're all about the same. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open the box and get familiar with all the parts that come with it and just make sure everything is there. So this bidet package comes with a plastic bidet with a single knob, comes with an instruction manual, it comes with the uh, toilet connector tubing, uh, Teflon tape, which I did not use, it comes with a really cool splitter valve, and it comes with plastic inserts to allow for a universal fit for any toilet. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and shut off your water. You want to make sure that the water will completely shut off. Some older homes or older valves have leaks or issues and may need to be replaced. So to verify that your water is completely shut off, you can go ahead and flush your toilet and listen for any sounds after it has flushed. If you're still hearing water trickling in or anything like that, then you'll know that the water is not completely shut off and you'll need to check things out. The next thing you want to do is remove the toilet seat. Gross. Um, toilets are gross. The next thing you want to do is clean everything. So to remove the toilet seat, go ahead and you will remove the two large nylon screws that are under the tabs. You will need a large flathead screwdriver for this. And then on the other side of the toilet, there's a, a nylon nut that you need to hold on to as you unscrew. Once these screws have been removed, you can go ahead and take the toilet seat completely off and set it aside. And then, ugh. Toilets are gross. Uh, let's do some more cleaning. So before I install the bidet, I like to go ahead and screw on the toilet connector or hose to the bidet. You will need a crescent wrench to do this. You can see here that the toilet connector has a compression connector. This is actually what prevents water from leaking. So you don't actually need to use Teflon tape for this. I like to tighten the connectors until there's quite a bit of resistance, but be aware that you might break it if you try to tighten it to the point where it just completely won't move anymore. So with the bidet assembly put together, you can now insert the universal adapters and go ahead and place everything onto the toilet. So turn or adjust the adapters until they line up with the holes in the toilet. Then after that, put the toilet seat back on and then insert the nylon screws. With the nylon screws inserted, you can do some more adjusting if you need to. You'll want to put the screws on tight enough so that the toilet seat doesn't move at all. What I like to do next is just put down some rags because there's going to be some water drippage. So go ahead and unscrew the existing toilet connector from the toilet. Here you need to be aware that there is going to be a bit of water that's going to drip out. Once that's removed, go ahead and install the splitter. And you can tighten this by hand and you should be able to tighten it tight enough so that it does not leak. Next you'll want to install the existing toilet connector onto the splitter. That's basically it. So next what you want to do is turn the water back on. You want to check for leaks. Uh, I like to dry everything off after I turn the water back on and just monitor the connectors for a while just to see if any water is leaking or not. I also like to put a few rags down under the connectors and leave them there just for a few days. This really makes it easy to see if there's any drips or not. You can fill the rags to see if they're damp at all after two or three days. So now you can go ahead, try out your bidet, make sure it works. Hopefully this video helped you out some. If it did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I've found that most basic bidets and installations are about the same. This particular bidet is actually quite thin, thinner than most that I've seen, so the toilet seat doesn't have a problem closing. That's really nice. Some bidets you need to get some spacers to level the seat with this one. I didn't need that at all. I've actually been very happy with this bidet, so I will post a link below if you want to check out this particular bidet. Thanks. Bidet. Have a nice day.
Hehe. <laughs> Sorry.